Hello and welcome to the last part of this uh, video tutorial series uh, where I'll be showing you how to export this uh, full tree we made in the last uh, part of the video uh, to Unreal Engine 5 and uh, we will learn how to set up the materials, um, specific uh, nodes in Unreal for uh, setting up the wind uh, which was exported uh, from speed tree and uh, we, yeah, we will see how, this, uh, how the final tree looks uh, in the main map which I was making. So let's get started. So this tree uh, is, a, is a one we made last uh, in the last video. Uh, so I explained how to make the leaves clusters, then how to make the how to connect the custom trunk with the speed tree mesh and all sorts of stuff. Now our uh, tree is complete and now we are ready to uh, export it. So before exporting the tree, uh, we need to make sure that uh, there is a wind uh, generation uh, done for this tree. So for that, Speedtree uh, has a tool. Uh, it is called, if you go to tools menu and click on this wind wizard, it will show you this uh, this dialog. So here you can spe specify uh, what kind of uh, wind you want. So this model, uh, so it says this model closely resembles A. So what kind of tree you want? So this, so, so this tree is kind of um, a shade tree, then there's a pine tree, then uh, ornamental tree, this is a palm, this is a small bush, grass and all those stuff. So we will select the uh, shade tree and I'll keep everything as, as default. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to change anything. You can you can try out with uh, with, uh, with changing different settings. So and, and I'm going to give uh, OK for this and speed tree, speed tree actually generates the, the, the wind. So you'll be seeing this kind of wind in uh, in in Unreal uh, when you set up all the materials correctly. Uh, now I'm going to export this tree from Speed Tree to Unreal. So for that, you need to go to File Menu, uh, Export to Game, and uh, choose a file. So I'll I'll just export this to Vault Tree Zero One under Content, which is Vegetation Trees Vault Tree, and give Save. Just just give Yes. Now this is the export game dialog. So right right now we don't have any uh, any other LODs than LOD zero. So I'll just say all LODs. So because that is, that will be the setting you'll be using for exporting. So then include uh, just just check the seam blends. At least I'm going to keep it none for now because we don't have any atlases. Then just uh, skip texture save because we will be maybe making the material. Uh, manually inside Unreal, and uh, select this. Um, there's a preset here, so Unreal Engine 4. If you select that, uh, and just turn off the Atlas. That's it. So it it goes back to custom, and skip texture save, and just give OK, and that will save the file uh, over that you know the uh, the file name we just specified. So I already I already exported it, so I'm not going to uh, mention it again. So just give export there. Now go into Unreal. So this is a uh, small map I made because this is uh, just a I named it as as playground uh, because I usually make it use it for testing all this stuff which I'm making for the small map. So we have a vegetation section here. So I'll be using this part just to keep the trees and you know all the vegetation, all the stuff well, uh, well organized. Okay, so let's first uh, we need to create a material. So go into materials. I'll start a new material here, material, and I'll, and I'll rename it as uh, wall tree um, custom. No, uh, wall tree bark uh, bark custom. So custom is the uh, lowest part of the tree, wall tree bar custom. Um, double click on this, so it'll open this uh, material tab. In this, I'm I'm going to make sure that this this is select, selected and this one uh, points to surface and blend mode is opaque, because uh, for the uh, I will uh, will use masked only for leaves. So for the bark surface opaque is fine. Now we're going to bring in all the textures. So open this content drawer right here 
and bring in the, all the custom part of the te uh, texture. So we have uh, tree bark, M inclusion, tree bark, base color, normal, and roughness. So bring those into the texture pane, uh, and I'm just going to connect them. So I'll connect the color to base color. Sorry, connect the color to base color. Then metallic. I, I just leave it as it is because it will just just is just black. Uh, so normal. I'll connect to normal here, and this is the roughness. I'll connect to roughness and amine occlusion. I'll just connect to AO. So that's pretty much it for our material. Just save. So go back to the uh, playground map. So um, I'm just going to copy this material. So Control W, it'll it'll, it'll duplicate. So this one is um, bark uh, tiling. So we uh, need a tiling part of the bark. The tiling is zero one. Open this mat material and just replace the te uh, te uh, textures with the tiling te texture. So our tiling textures are right here. Wall tree bark tiling zero one as uh, base color normal and roughness. So bring them with them in. Uh, just move them here. So this is the color map. Uh, this is the roughness. Uh, this is the amnigration. This is normal. So just uh, control, move it here, and just use control and move it here. Uh, so click and hold the control key and just drag. So just reconnecting it. I just delete these uh, texture samples. That's for the custom tree. Uh, and save it. Then go back to playground. Then we need one more uh, one more material. That is for the leaf. So just uh, for the leaf, I'll make a new new one. Material uh, wall tree leaf zero one. So open this material. And here I need uh, I need to change this to um, the surface is fine and uh, drag in all the textures from content drawer. So this is like wall tree MN occlusion base color normal and roughness. Drag them in. Now just rearrange them. Now you have to connect this uh, color map. Uh, color texture already has has alpha in it. Then we have uh, this is this one is, this one is MN occlusion. Drag it down. This is roughness. Keep it around here. The normal is somewhere around here. Then like that. Just like that. Okay. Now we need to change something in in this uh, med material because it, because it's a leaf. So by default, material domain is surface. That is fine. Then blend mode. Uh, so opaque is uh, mainly for surfaces that uh, that have no transparency. So, but in our case, uh, our leaf has uh, has alpha. So, change the opaque to masked. So, once I change it to masked, you will see uh, this opacity mask pop up here, because that is that is for the alpha. Uh, then shading model, uh, it is a de default lit. Let's change that to two-sided foliage. So, when I change the two-sided foliage, I'll get one more uh, plug here that is called opacity. Then use two uh, two sided, and now we'll change this uh, display to a plane. So it will be much much easier for us to see the te uh, texture in a square in a square plane. Now start connecting all the te uh, textures. So color goes to base color. Then alpha goes to opacity mask. So once I connect this, uh, it'll pop up here. So you can see. That nice uh, texture showing up. Now this is roughness goes to roughness. Then normal goes to normal. Let it update here. Uh, it will take a few seconds. Then this is amine occlusion goes amine occlusion. So that is pretty much it for the leaf for the uh, uh, for the start. So if you look closely, like you have all the you know all the maps and everything. Uh, done for this, so that looks really nice. Now let's let's save the material, and 
let's go back to the uh, playground and let's import the, the the tree which we just exported from speed tree now go to meshes vegetation uh, in trees in, inside wall tree there's a wall tree version 2 so we'll just uh, use this folder for the uh, new tree so right click on on this pane uh, import uh, the mesh uh, go into content meshes uh, vegetation uh, trees wall tree then this is the one we are going to exp uh, import wall tree 01 dot st now now open it now it will show um, a metal import settings so so this is already set, set, set up here by default so they, there are two uh, two options one is for uh, painted foliage and individual actors so in our case uh, we, are, we only have one tree to be placed in the world this is a really small map so I'll use choose individual actors also for collision uh, I'll be creating collision uh, by myself inside the asset editor so don't check this on also I don't need the need the engine to create materials I'll create it myself because we already did now import the tree now tree is here now double click on this uh, static mesh it will open in a separate tab and just drag here I just turn this off okay now we'll go, we'll go to the mesh view uh, the tree looks a bit weird here because it is just just a gray geometry now there are some things we uh, we need to set up so first of all uh, this is the three materials we exported from uh, from speed tree so it comes as as element 0 element 1 element 2 so how will we know which one is which is which uh, there's a highlight option here just click on it it will show show with a uh, with a blue so, sorry with an orange outline or you can use isolate so it just hides the other parts of the parts of the object if you isolate so for this one that is the custom part of the trunk so we'll just uh, choose uh, tree bark wall tree bark custom so once I select that the material will be applied to the to the bottom part of the tree so that looks good now we will just uh, apply the material on the tileable part this one wall underscore tree bark tiling so we applied the tiling section of the bar uh, of the bark so that is done now we'll go into last one that is the leaves so isolate the leaves so then again wall tree leaf 01 so once we give the with the middle to the leaves uh, our, our, our tree is complete now uh, just uh, just hit save here and you can you can close the metro editor so we'll come back to it later uh, when we set up the wind and everything now we just drag this tree into our world and um, Unreal um, generates everything properly now. So our tree is here. So what we're missing now is the wind. So wind, we actually exported from uh, we already exported from uh, speed tree, but there is no wind by by default inside uh, inside Unreal. So what you have to do is you have to bring in that wind actor. So where will we find it? You can go to this place actor uh, panel here and just type in wind and this is the one wind directional source just drag and drop it into the interview and check if there's check if there's any movement in the tree now that nothing is moving like uh, everything is like very still uh, because the, re the, the reason is because i don't have wind activated on the material yet so just keep this here and i will change the change some parameters for the wind actor so go to details and uh, choose strength as like uh, i'll keep it as uh, 0 0.25 speed is uh, speed is good speed maybe i'll take it as 0.2 uh, so gust is like uh, how much force uh, how much force variation you need like me like if you see a difference between minimum gust and maximum gust that that that, that means the min wind speed will keep changing so i'll just keep it as 0.2 because I need a constant uh, amount of wind. Now I can just deselect it, uh, save the map, 
content browser, save everything because we actually uh, create this te uh, texture, so save it. So right now there is no wind. I just reduce the speed of the camera to be two, so that will be more easy to control. Okay, now open the materials. Now open the, the leaf material, the, the one which we just did, ball tree leaf 01. And in this, uh, we need to bring in a, a very important uh, node that is called a speed tree node. So speed node carries all the wind information. So right click here on the graph and type speed tree. So this is a speed tree node. Just, just bring it in. And there is a world position offset. So just select, uh, just connect from here to world position outlet. So once you do it, uh, only we calculate uh, how much wind to wind has to be applied to the uh, to the tree. Now select this, and we have some controls here. So this is a this is a type is like leaf. So this is not uh, geometry type. This is not a branch. Select uh, leaf. Then wind type. Uh, then use best plus. So best plus is the is the wind that is uh, that is the most most expensive, and which looks the 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 best. Uh, for some reason, uh, Unreal just hides the preview here, so that is perfectly fine. We don't need to need to see it. Uh, then, then just save. Now, once you save, and then once you go back to the scene, you will see the leaves are moving now. So that was one. That was the only thing that was missing in the material that was that would make the leaf move. Now, if I look at the branches, the branch is not moving, right? So branch is is still uh yeah, just a static mesh it doesn't have that wind uh wind node applied to it in the material so with the branch and the trunk both are just just static so how can we fi fix that again go to this uh, tiling section of the branch wall tree bug tiling double click on this open this and use the same thing uh speed tree node select it and just drag the world position outlet, sorry, world position offset here, and select this uh, speedy node, and change the geometry type to branch is fine. So we don't have to change change, change anything. So that is fine. Branch, uh, sorry, select uh, material branch uh, wind type. Choose best plus, uh, and just give save. And now when you go back to the map. You will see that branch is moving. Okay, once it is saved, we'll go, go back to playground. Now you can see the see the uh, the branches are moving with the with the, with the leaves pro properly. So now the branch and the, and the leaves are moving. So leaves are like clusters for us, and branch is like just branch. Now if you look here, the bottom part of tree is like uh, like the clipping somewhat. So our tiling part is okay, but the custom part. Like it is not supposed to move, but if you have a slight slight movement to it, it might look more uh, more re realistic. So we can just add that to the custom tree, uh, which is tree material as well. So open that. I'll just give some space here, and again speed tree. Uh, bring that node, and connect this to the world position offset. And changes to branch, uh, wind type is best plus. That's pretty much it. Now just save. And go and check in the playground. Now, uh, because because this 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 trunk is at the trunk is at the base of the tree. Uh, speed tree is very clever. Like it it. It knows which part to move and which part not to move. So this, so, so this part of the trunk has very little, little amount of wind affecting, and at the tip of the branch, like this, this one has the most. So it it gives you that that natural uh, wind effect. Now, how do you control the amount of wind? So select this uh, wind actor. Now go into details panel, and you can actually adjust everything over here. So strength. So right now it is like 0.25. If I if I keep it at one, you can slowly see that it is uh, it is changing. It won't change uh, instantly, but it uh, it has a very natural, very slow natural curve. So I'll keep the strength as back to 0.5 or something, 
Now increase the speed to maybe you can see how much it will affect the so change one. Now it becomes like very like very fast wind. So the leaves are like flipping and uh, they look so you know they they like they look like uh, being in a storm. So just keep it back to point one five or something. So the speed will be very low. And and that is uh, that's that's pretty much it. That is how you bring in a, a speedy geometry and adjust the 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 wind. So I just I just save the level, uh, save everything in content browser. So now I will show you how uh, how this tree is placed in the final level. So going to maps. So I'm just going to the, my so I I named it the uh, circus circus map zero one. Uh, let it load the level. Now, if you look at the tree, so this is a tree um, tree we were making in the in the last part of the video. So the the tree is finally here. Uh, so what I did is I just placed it uh, on the wall and I just made a crack here. So the wall was like this. This wall mesh actually this wall mesh is actually one one big geometry right here so um, that is fine because uh, like it, this one is, is not modular but all the walls pieces around here like they are uh, individual pieces so I made a big hole here on the wall just to keep the tree like that the, the, the tree was uh, growing through a broken part of the part of the branch and I'll be adding some grass and stuff over here I'll be I'll be filling it up at a later stage uh, also this is just a static mesh um, so our our tree is only up to here. The base, as I was planning, just to have a static geometry that is coming coming down and uh, with with some cracks on the wall, and it will look more detailed uh, further down the line. Also, I'll be adding more uh, uh, details on at the side, just to bring it more you know um, more blending with the wall. And and this is the. And and this is the level I'm just doing right now, because I was I was busy working on this tu uh, tutorial. I didn't get much much time to work on this part of the um, map, uh, but eventually I will be coming back to it. So I'm planning to make it to uh, to uh, another video tutorial on just how to texture this train. Uh, so this is just a uh, uh, this is not a gray box, but uh, this is we can call it like uh, just between level one and um, and a gray box so it is still has to uh, have a lot of modeling on it uh, then plus some texturing and i'll be using um, vertex painting to give it that effect so this one will be uh, some kind of burnt look uh, i might have i might change it to more rusty down the line uh, and also more vertex painting uh, to give in this kind of uh, mossy effect because it is it is lying uh, somewhat in the you know outdoor area, but but these 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 uh, these train cars are like inside a covered area, so there won't be much rain and water here. So so this will be more mostly dry, and and it will be covered with dust rather than um, sorry yeah dust rather than rust. So yeah uh, that's the plan, and I'll be making more videos on this. Thank you for watching and if you like the video uh, please uh, please like it and um, and uh, please do comment uh, I would like to get some feedback on 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 how the how the presentation was and and everything thanks for watching guys thank you bye